Hey YouTube, Atheist Vape is checking in. Today we've got the Helios RDA. So yeah, I actually got the Helios on trade from a viewer, um, and you know, a friend, David, uh, I really appreciate this man, awesome trade, he sent me a couple RDAs, a uh, K-Fun clone, and I'm sending him a brass stingray, so dope little trade, really appreciate that, and you know, for those of you who have sent me stuff to review on top of that, fantastic, I really, really appreciate it. Um, this one was altered, and so I have not seen another Helios to compare it to. But he did add a second uh, 3 30 seconds hole, and when we get up close and personal, I'll show you uh, where, where the drilling was done. So I can't say for certain if you pick up another Helios that it would be as good as this, because the airflow is fantastic right now, but I'm thinking without that extra hole, I don't know if this would be a worthwhile RDA purchase. So maybe one of you can post in the comments on whether or not there is a second hole and he just enlarged it, or if he completely added the second hole. I wasn't exactly clear. Um, he did tell me, you know, I drilled out a 3.30 seconds hole so you could do dual coil builds. I don't know if that meant that there wasn't a second hole at all or if there was just a smaller hole because it is set up to do dual coil builds. I'll show you that when we, when we dive up close. Um, but I can't imagine doing a dual coil build on this sucker without uh, the two sides having airflow. So, you know, if the original doesn't have that, I don't know if I would jump on it necessarily. Um, but I do like the look of this thing. I think it flows really nice. It's a 23 millimeter RDA, so it'll look good on like your King V2. Um, you know, and honestly, on an Emmy, you know, a one millimeter overhang isn't exactly that, uh, that big of a deal. Um, but for some people, and I'm one of them, uh, you know, get a little uh, <laughs> OCD about petty things like a one millimeter overhang. But anyway. Looks good on the uh, the box mod, Biohazard. Um, yeah, I, I really do like the look of it. Um, the design of it is, you know, it's not like the, the greatest designed RDA ever. And again, when we dive up close, I'll, I'll show you all the, the little issues or, or minor, minor problems. Um, <clears throat> but it has to do more with like this kind of flat top design. I prefer more of a, uh, uh, you know, a little bit of an archway or a, a dome shape on my RDAs personally. I'm finding they get a little better flavor and uh, don't get as much juice in the mouth. But honestly, I haven't had that many issues with this thing. Um, I really like the drip tip on it. I think this just has kind of a nice look to it. I like that it's not covered in a bunch of, you know, uh, lettering and symbols and stuff like that. Um, but, you know, a couple of the issues like the gaskets, really, really tight. Uh, I'll show you. I couldn't get it to close all the way. Uh, maybe I'll just juice it up some more. Where, man, you know, I, the gaskets are really tight on this thing. So another thing, I don't know who the maker of this clone was. Again, I got it on a trade. Um, I just know that it is a clone. So for all I know, it's a fast tech clone. I'm not positive. Uh, if I find this out before, uh, when I'm in editing, I'll try to slap that in here and let you know. But regardless, it's, uh, it's hitting really nice and I'm digging it. Um, and again, I don't know if this would be such a fantastic RDA without the extra airflow. I can't imagine hitting this thing with a dual coil build with one hole. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's just me. Maybe some of you who have this have no issue with that. Uh, but let's fire it up. Oh, fantastic vapor production. Again, fantastic airflow with the extra hole in there. Uh, I did a 0.7 ohm uh, build with uh, 28 gauge Canthal. Uh, I was going to try to build it a little lower, but I don't like going below 0.6 on the box mod, even though I know I can handle it, uh, just for safety's sake, I don't like doing it. Um, yeah, I don't really know what else to say about it till we dive up close, um, other than, you know, it's hitting fantastic, but again, that's because I've got the extra hole drilled in there, so I can't speak for another Helios clone unless I know for a fact that uh, they at least have... Uh, opposite ends for airflow. I, you know, if, if, if this is it, I would pass on this thing. 
Um, but if there is another air hole, maybe jump on it. So anyway, let's dial up close with this thing. We'll give you some of the specs, show you what it looks like on the inside, and then we'll finish out this review. Here is our up close and personal with the Helios RDA. So yeah, it's got a pretty cool look to it. I think uh, it's got kind of that like industrial look. I really do like the drip tip. I think it's a pretty dope looking drip tip. Um, it's got a nice wide board hole there so you get, you know, good, good airflow, good vapor production out of this thing. It has really, really tight gaskets. I could not get it to close this last little millimeter. Um, and this is actually where it was altered. So it's got a 332nd extra hole added to it. Uh, again, I have not seen another Helios, so I don't know if this was all you get for your airflow. If that's the case, I would definitely, definitely pass on this thing. But uh, if there is more airflow, or you do have the ability to alter it, like David did, uh, then you shouldn't have any issue with your airflow. It should be a fantastic RDA for you. Um, again, these things are so tight on here, I actually have to use a mod to pull it apart show you what's going on on the inside here so that's really really solid on there now it looks like you could do almost a quad coil build with this kind of setup here um, but again with that airflow I would not do that <laughs> personally Let's see if we can get this zoomed in a little better here for y'all all right so it was fairly easy to build on um you know if you're using like 26 gauge i think it would be a little harder uh just because of those the holes uh for the posts there if you were overlapping but with the 26 gauge canthal i had zero issue it was a really really easy build um you know plenty of room for cotton so overall pretty pretty simple rda to jump into and we got our dope little drip tip here just your standard 510 but you know this one's got kind of a different look to it I like that it stands out a bit and the rest just unscrews here there's your top cap now this is what I was talking about with these kind of flat top caps versus the dome shape they build up with juice and it doesn't really drip back down in there which is kind of annoying so you end up sucking up some juice at some point point. and here's our outer shield here with our adjustable airflow ring and again it looks like that is all you had for the original airflow and I think this was just added I don't think it was uh, expanded on I think he just drilled a 330 seconds hole through there and again on the ring itself as well I do like that there's a little bit of purchase here you know it's kinda got these uh, little bevels so you can actually move this thing um, But yeah overall uh, simplistic setup um, you know with with the altered uh, airflow, it makes it worthwhile. Um, oh, got that upside down. It's a little tight on here just because uh, it needs to be sanded a little bit from that uh, hole being drilled out. But you know, overall, it looks pretty darn good. So that is our up close and personal with the Helios RDA. Slap this bad boy back together real quick, and I'll show you. This is about as much as I can get it pushed on. Ugh. Oh wow, it worked that time. Huh. Perfect, it worked for film, fantastic. Well, never mind, <laughs> the gasket went on there just fine. So that is our Helios RDA. Let's get back to the review. Oh yeah, 23 millimeter <laughs> RDA here, stainless steel, obviously. So, and it looks like we got a silver plated 510 contact. And that was our up close and personal with the Helios RDA clone. So overall, with it being altered the way it is, I'm giving it two thumbs up because I'm getting fantastic airflow, great vapor production, everything tastes good. I really like the look of it. Um, you know, overall, it's a pretty dope little RDA. I really do like the drip tip. It's different, but it hits really nice. Um, it's nice and wide board. Um, you know, overall, it's a it's a pretty dope RDA. If it didn't have the extra airflow, I don't, I don't think I would give this two thumbs up and I don't think I would say to go get it. So, with that being said, you know, you're either going to have to alter it or, or just pass on it is what I would do. Um, just because, again, without that extra airflow, this wouldn't be worth it, people. Um, so, David, good, good work on drilling that out. It definitely needed it, obviously. Um, but, yeah, hits great. I'm digging it. Worthwhile trade and I'm happy with it, so... I got no complaints, people. It's hitting like a beast. So, yeah, again, two thumbs up. I say pick it up if you have the ability to alter it. If you don't, 
pass on this. Get one with some good airflow because even if you don't know you need good airflow yet or, or you're just jumping in RDAs, trust me, you're going to want that extra airflow. When I first started, I didn't realize that, you know, uh, how much airflow I really wanted in a dripper um, and you know now that I've been doing RDA reviews and have been you know dripping constantly uh, you know you need a good amount of airflow so as of right now this one's fantastic I cannot speak for other Helios RDAs until I know that you know they also have good airflow um, so again I would pass on it if, if you don't have the ability to alter it because I don't know if this thing is going to be set up right for you um, but if you can alter it and it's not a big issue to you, you can pick these things up for a really good price like on Fast Tech and stuff, so it might be worth jumping on for you. Um, so yeah, that's my review for the Helios RDA. Um, thank you all for watching. Be sure to like my video, subscribe to my channel. All kinds of giveaways coming up. Uh, we got our VIP giveaways coming up. I'm doing a juice giveaway for those of you who have purchased a sticker. Uh, we also have a mod giveaway for those of you who've got a shirt. So if you want to get a shirt, this is going to be the last week to jump on that and then I'm closing out all sales and I'm going to be doing a King V2 giveaway with an EH Pro K fund. So it's going to be a dope uh, giveaway for those of you who purchased a shirt. Uh, and that's coming up. Um, you know, I got to work on what budget allows. Uh, also, if any of you know how to collect ad revenue from YouTube, please, please post in the description who I talk to, how I do that. I have set up my account for ads. Uh, I know it's a slightly annoying thing. If you've got ad block, please use it. But for those of you who don't care, it's not a big deal. Let the ads run. It really does help the channel. And all that money, anything I do get from ad revenue, I'm literally going to use to buy juice and mods for giveaways. So uh, I've had ad revenue building up. I just have no way to collect it. Um, I don't know what to do. Uh, <laughs> I feel like an idiot, but you know, YouTube is a huge corporation and Google, so they don't exactly make it easy to contact anybody to talk to them about that. So if one of you knows, one of you have collected ad revenue, please, please, please send me an email, atheistvapus at gmail.com or post in the comments. I'd really like to figure it out. It's been a few months now. It's been building up, so hopefully I'll get a decent little chunk of change and I can go buy a mod for a giveaway. That's really my, my plan. Um, but right now, I, I have no idea how to do that. So as far as I know, I've done everything that's required of me to set it up for ads. Um, I'm just, you know, at a loss of how to actually collect that revenue. So anyway, that's all I got, people. Peace and love, YouTube. Atheist Vapus is out.